Lord bless this time together and we just give you the glory Lord we acknowledge Lord our sin we acknowledge our need of you and you might be on holiday today or passing through enjoying uh, the day and you might not think there's any relevance in what we're doing but if the Apostle Paul was here today he would say for I'm not ashamed of the gospel of Christ but it's the power of God unto salvation to everyone to believe if the Jew first and also to the Greek. It doesn't matter how sophisticated you are. The Bible says do not lie. You've lied. It doesn't matter how clever you are. The Bible says do not steal. You've stolen. It doesn't matter how, how, how great you think you are. The Bible says that you are to honor God and have no other idols. We've all broke the Ten Commandments, every single one of us. And because of that, there will be a judgment day. And judgment is coming. Judgment day is coming. The judgment of God is coming. There is a judgment day. And every person will be judged uh, on account of their life, for what they've done with their life. And that judgment, if you're not believing in Jesus Christ, you will not be able to stand in that judgment. You see, God is a holy God and he has a law. Do not lie, do not steal, do not commit adultery. Honor your father and mother. Uh, honor the Sabbath day. These are God's commandments and, and we cannot break them. And if we break them, we come under judgment and we can't wipe away that judgment. No matter what we do, we can't wipe it away. It's not possible. We can't wipe it away with religion. We can't wipe it away with wokeism. We can't wipe it away with science. We can't wipe it away with politics. We can't wipe it away with philosophy. The only way we can wipe away our guilt is by the blood of Jesus Christ. Amen. Jesus, uh, the Bible says, the blood of Jesus Christ cleanses us from all sin. Doesn't matter whether you're part of the Conservative Party, the Labour Party, the Reform Party. You can be a, any political party you want. If you're not in the blood of Jesus Christ, you will not stand on the day of judgment. And Christ offers himself to you today. He says, here I am on your holiday passing through. I'm here, the Son of God, I'm here. I die for you. Look at the nails in my hands. Look at the nails in my feet. Look at the blood that was shed. Look at the, my crown of thorns. And he says, I'm here. I'm here. I died for you. I'm here. Come to me. But the Bible says, men love darkness rather than the light. And if you love the darkness, if you love witchcraft, if you love pornography, if you love whatever it is, the darkness, if you love it, then you'll miss the light. And Jesus is the light that shines in the world today. You might find that offensive, tough. God is God and you're, you're a human being and you have to respect God and honor God. Jesus is the son of God, the King of Kings and Lord of Lords. He said, I am the way, the truth and the life. And you might be offended by that, but that's your problem because God's always been here. He was here a lot longer than you. He created the world. He gives you life. So if you've got a problem with God, then you've got a major problem. You've got an attitude problem. An attitude of pride. And you need to humble yourself and say, Lord, I'm a sinner. I've lied. I've stolen. I've committed adultery. I've fiddled the tax. I've gossiped. I've done all these. I've gambled. I've, 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 I've been into pornography. I've done this. I've done that. And I'm wrong, God. Forgive me. And Lord Jesus, thank you for dying for me on the cross and believe on Jesus Christ. Some of you might not make it by the end of the year. You'll be dead and in hell. And you couldn't be bothered to listen. Instead, you're taking pictures and you're walking past. You couldn't be bothered. And yet God could be bothered. He could be bothered by sharing his love to you today. By sending us here in Chester today. And you're invited. You're invited to come. He died for you. He gave his life for you. He shed his blood for you. Please come. Come with your burdens. Come with your problems. Come with your whatever it is. Come. But come for forgiveness today. He died on a cross. You say, I don't need it. Have you lied? You say, you don't need it. Have you stolen? You say, you don't need it. Is there hate in your heart? Bitterness in your heart? You say, you don't need it. You need forgiveness. You need forgiveness. You need forgiveness. You need it. And you can only get that forgiveness at the cross. At the cross. You can't get it anywhere else. You can't get it at Barclays. You can't get it in the cathedral. 
You get it in Jesus Christ. He died on the cross, he shed his blood, and he gave his life for you. And he's beckoning you to come today. So come while you can. Say, Lord, I'm sorry for what I've done wrong. I'm sorry. Forgive me. And then turn to Jesus Christ and say, Lord, forgive me. He, he's longing for you to come. He knows you better than yourself. His love is here. He's crying for you today. Whatever, wherever your heart is today, He knows your heart and He's crying for you to come today. Don't put it off. Don't be proud. Don't be arrogant. Don't be apathetic. You couldn't care less. God is calling you. He's calling you to come to Him today. He's crying for you to come. Don't die and go into hell. Don't die and be lost in hell forever and ever. Whether there be weeping and gnashing of teeth. There will be weeping and gnashing of teeth in hell. There's no TikTok in hell. There's no Facebook in hell. There's no Coronation Street in hell. There's no Coca-Cola in hell. There's no Kentucky Fried Chicken in hell. In hell is hell. It's a weeping and a gnashing of teeth because you're separated from Almighty God. And when you wake up and you realize you're cast out of outer darkness, that will be your hell. There'll be weeping and gnashing of teeth. There'll be weeping and gnashing of teeth. And when the Lord comes back, many of you will be hiding. You'll be hiding in the mountains. You'll be hiding under the trees. You'll be hiding under your bed. But when he comes back, he's not coming back to tickle you. He's coming back as a lion. He's coming back to roar. He's coming back to judge. He's coming back to judge the living and the, and the dead, not as a lamb, but as a lion. He's coming back. He died as a lamb on that cross. He shed his blood as a lamb on that cross. He gave his life as a lamb on that cross. John the Baptist said, Behold, the Lamb of God that takes away the sin of the world. But when he's coming back, he's coming to roar. He's coming as a lion to judge the living and the dead. And every prime minister and every president that has ever lived, and every king that has ever lived, every person who had power, Rockefeller, whoever, they'll all rise from the grave and they will meet the Almighty Jesus Christ and He will roar like a lion. He will roar like a lion. There's no gay flags in heaven. There's no transgender flags in heaven. There's no wokeism in heaven. The only thing in heaven is Jesus Christ and His purity and His word. Amen. And those who purchased, this, purchased them Amen. by His blood. And when He comes back, He's coming as a lion to roar and to judge the nations and to judge you and to judge me but Christ died on that cross and he shed his blood on that cross and the lamb is here today the lamb is sharing his love to you today the lamb is saying look at my hands look at the things on my the thorns on my head I shed my blood for you I am the lamb of God I am the Alpha and Omega, the beginning and the end, and I shed my blood for you. I gave my life for you. So come. Come while you can. Come and repent of your lies. Repent of your adultery. Repent of your stealing. Repent of every wicked thing that you've ever done. Repent and turn away and come to Jesus Christ. For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son that whoever believes on him shall not perish but have everlasting life for God so loved you that he gave his only begotten son that if you believe on him you shall not perish but have everlasting life the father gave his son to die for you now you have to give your life to him but the lion is coming the lion of Judah is coming the Lion of the Son of God is coming. The end is coming. The end of the world is coming. And the end is near. The end is near. What is happening is Israel is a sign of the end times. Prophesied in the Bible that Russia and Turkey and those nations will come down and strike Israel. These are prophecies in Ezekiel. They're prophecies in the Bible coming true before your very eyes the judgment is here those who will not listen you will be shaken in your boots you'll be shaken in your boots 
You'll be shaking like you've never shook before in the world. As the world comes to an end and the Son of God comes like a lion, roaring, bringing his judgment. He said he's coming back and he's coming back. Get ready for the lion is coming. Get ready for the lion of Judah is coming. He's coming back. He's coming for his people. He's coming and he'll come to Jerusalem, it says. He's coming. He's coming back. He's coming back. You're either dead in your trespasses and sins and you're on the way to the devil and the demons in hell or you're going to awake today and realize the end is nigh for the human race and realize you need the blood of Jesus. Today is the day of salvation. Don't play around with God. Don't mock with God. You walk past and you ignore what we say. God forbid, but you'll pay the price. Because there'll be judgment even right now as you walk past and ignore what we say. God is marking it that you listen, but you ignore. And we are free of your blood today. We are free of your blood. It is not on our account if you go to hell. But in God's mercy and love today, He's shining upon Chester. He's shining His love upon Chester today. Shining His sun upon Chester today. Shining His word on Chester today. How good is God shining today upon Chester His love? But be careful because the clouds of judgment have come in. And the only hope is Jesus Christ. God bless you.